Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and I've just been working on a simple set of code snippets for PC Daisy that will give you a kind of a little bit of a random loadout when you're when you're a fresh spawn as a medieval knight. So you'll spawn in with the chainmail uh, uh, jacket, uh, the plate, the legs, the medieval boots, um, and the hat thing, and you'll have some bits in your inventory. So you'll have a knife, some rag, some food, some drink, um, some alcohol course <laughs> and you'll have a crossbow on your back um, and you have some bolts as well just five bolts but you'll also spawn in with a random chance of a mace a sword or an axe so if for example if I kill my character now um, there we go uh, toggle guard there they go and let's respawn in what you should see is they spawn in with a different weapon now in the description below this video you'll see two links one to my github and one to my mega so if one of them isn't working you can always use the other one and this is uh, using the init.c which unfortunately obviously we can't use with um, pc at the moment so this guy as you can see he spawned in with the sword which is uh, which is pretty cool so they'd be nice for like an event you could do some custom spawns around devil castle or corona castle or something like that or on livonia or on any map and uh, have some right old battles so 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 how do you do it well what you want to do is go to my github repository and if you want to download the code you click on code download zip and extract on your local file or my megas there as well you'll see the link and that will take you to the folder and basically in the folder you will get these so there's an init.c there's the mace loadout which is just a picture and there's the readme so the readme has full instructions on how to do it so there's two ways you can do it you could either use the init.c to replace the init.c on your uh, server only really recommend that for chernerus um, because different maps especially custom maps use different parts of the init.c to do different things however what you probably want to do the safest way to do it is on your existing init.c look for the class custom mission uh, mission server section and then all you do is in the readme you just copy everything below there to there you would copy all that go into your init.c and there where you find that just paste all that and replace all that save it restart your server and fresh spawn should have it now a big thank you has to go out to um, t earl greg cold because i found um, the original version of this on github um, and i use this a lot a very a variation of this where you spawn in with weapons on things like my local server on my test server so whenever i have a new character they've all got the basics um, so that's why the, the, the code that you see isn't particularly um, probably well formed um, you'll see that I adapt the fact that one of them is a sniper one of them is an SMG I think and one of them is a, a different type of um, uh, character because it's based on that sort of thing um, and if I'd known how to do it properly I would probably have it so that your clothing was a little bit more random as well so you might get things like the witch's hat sorry the witch's um, not the witch's hat the hood there's a medieval hood you can have as well and I'll probably do it random whether you would get the chest plate or not but as it is it's a bit of fun it's nice and easy it's really quick to install um, and uh, yeah it starts off your characters in good old LARPing or cosplay style with medieval armor and a sword a mace or an axe and they've all got the crossbow with a few bolts as well so there we go so if you find these useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon